I recently scrapped a laptop computer and I found a hard drive in it. Probably has information on it and whatnot. It is a Toshiba Toshiba 500 gigabyte. So I said, hey, hard drive, junk computer. Let's go buy a little case so we can see what's on the hard drive. Then wipe it out and I have myself a portable 500 gigabyte hard drive for five dollars and uh 49 cents or something this is real cheap crap whatever this thing is is this is this a case for the hard drive and it has a uh, ide i believe there would be the technical term interface it's all dust in here it looks like it's been used maybe it's a trick i want you to blow it <laughs> blow the dust so it gets in your face and the Chinese person kills you, whoever made that, but maybe. But the deal is to get it to fit, it has like the shield on it, but it has screws. Those screws have to be removed first, so we're going to try to fit it again after we remove those two screws. There actually was four screws, well I only said two, two were left. And this is kind of a how-to video as well, I didn't imagine that, how-to. Put your laptop hard drive into a portable holder. So maybe I'd like to leave this shield if I can, and I think I can. And now you just basically line it up and click it into here and hope the Chinese piece of trash works. I'm gonna need two hands here. Now our hard drive is fairly seated into the interface, as you see. And that's those four pins stay like that. We left a little shield on, this cover goes like this. This is some, uh, made out of metal actually. This place from scrap iron I traded in at the uh, scrap yard. Came back as a uh, hard drive case. Again, gonna need two hands. Put this case on all together. And to anyone who doesn't know what the heck this thing is, they will never know. It is a memory device. You can put it in your pocket. Any pocket you want. Put it in your car. Put it underneath your pillow. You can do anything with this. Let's see if it works. It comes with a USB cable. I will add that some of these, I have one on another computer. Oh, that's bright. But I have one on another computer that is older and maybe like an 80 gig hard drive but it actually uses two USB cables one USB cable powers it one USB B cable is for the interface so that's kind of strange and that was probably a better case this is cheap crap and that light is like a laser wow see that in person look at that disclaimer do not shine this out your window when there's uh, helicopters or airplanes flying around Police will get you. Common thing in uh, Florida. Florida. In the south. The kids have nothing else to do. But let's see if we're reading anything. We are. We're reading. Wow. Look at that. We got files to look at. Some personal information. Sweet. Sometimes too. Um, I had a problem with a laptop too. I had to. Um, Jose. I had to. Um claim ownership of the files. There's a password on it. There's some way you can do that. This thing looks pretty clean. No pictures. No documents. Nope. Alright. Downloads. No downloads. But that's how you do it. It's real simple. I think I paid $5.49 I think for this. Maybe less. And it works. Now I have a 500 gigabyte. USB memory device, pretty cool, for free. Well, five bucks, found the computer in the trash. So, <coughs> excuse me, if anyone uh, ever has a laptop that dies, you can do this inexpensively, and uh, you'll get all your files saved, as you see here. And they just have a directory, that public, you know. All right, let's see what we can find on this, and uh, that's it. Hope you like this video, and I hope it helps someone.